Oh man. Things are heating up. So we're about or exactly two days away from Nintendo's Wii U event. And we get yet another another reveal, another leak. Now Apparently, um, some information on the specs were leaked directly from Wario World. Now, War if you guys don't know what Wario World is, WarioWorld.com is the developer site for Nintendo developers. Like, that's where you get access to your dev kits. It's where you get um, dev support. You got to... Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the dev support site for Nintendo. Anybody that makes games for Nintendo systems in the U.S. has a, a, a WarioWare.com account. First, the uh, alleged code name for the CPU is Espresso. Project Cafe, Espresso. Yeah, I see what you did there. Sounds legit to me. Anyway, so apparently a CPU is called Codename Espresso. All right. Now, here's the big news. The big news, according to this leak, is that the three-core CPU in the Wii U is based not on Power 7, or isn't a Power 7, but is in fact uh, three souped-up Broadway cores. Broadway. Broadway being the original Wii CPU. So according to this rumor, it's pretty much just three Broadway, three Wii, three Wii CPUs, but enhanced. Now, enhanced can mean a lot of things, right? But if you take it as face value, what it sounds like is that it's just, they just took the Wii CPU, made three of them, three cores, and just up the uh, up the speed which I can guarantee you is not the case enhanced is a vague word now I'm gonna tell you what the deal is at least from what I've been hearing from what I've been hearing actually turns out over the years now before you guys start crying or cheering, depending on which side of the fence you're on, even if, even if the Wii U CPU was just an overclocking of three um, Broadway CPUs, it would still have decent performance. And the reason for that is that as a general purpose CPU, the Broadway clock for clock was a beast. Now, the 360 and, pl and PlayStation 3 use PPE cores, pro power processing elements. Now, these are essentially stripped down versions of uh, full power PC cores that are made with multi-threading in mind, that are made with multiple cores in mind. And the only way to achieve good performance in these CPUs is to use multi-threading in multiple cores. Without multi-threading, without multiple cores, these CPUs are crap. Literally, they're crap. <laughs> Terrible. Now, the Broadway processor in the Wii is a better general purpose CPU than the 360 and the PS3. Hands down, clock for clock. Now, if there's any of my subscribers that um, knew me from IGN when I used to post there about Wii graphics, um, if you remember back, I've always said that the, the Wii's uh, CPU was a great general processor CPU and was actually better than the 360s and PS3s for its clock speed. Now, I also said back then, like, say if... Say if Broadway on the Wii was clocked at 2 gigahertz, it would smash the 360 CPU. 
because it's a full, fully coherent, full set, full featured Power PC. Now, see, the reason why Microsoft and, Play, and Sony went with the power, P, power processing uh, element, power, the PPE cores, is because you can't have that kind of clock speed with a non-PPE, pretty much, at least back then, um, without the heat being bananas. And you see that they used a stripped down version of the power PC and they still had overheating problems. From what I hear, Microsoft was kind of ticked off when they found out that they were getting an in-order processor from IBM. Now, the Wii, even the Wii, uses an out-of-order processor. The Wii U CPU is an out-of-order processor, which already means it, it it's going to spank the 360 um, if, it's any, if it's clocked anywhere near the, the speed of the 360. But here's where the, the mystery lies. You see, the problem with having a non-PPE um, in the system is heat. Now, Nintendo couldn't come out with the Wii U with the full range power PC core, multiple cores, uh, be as clocked as high or higher than the 360, and keep a small form factor. That's impossible. It's impossible. Not even Nintendo could do that. It's, it's just impossible. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat. The Wii U CPU is going to be clocked a lot lower than both the 360 and PS3 CPUs. And I know some of you guys are always saying, oh, yeah, it's going to be, you know, 3 gigahertz instead of 3.2. Mm -mm. mm -mm. It's going to be more like 1.6 to 2 gigahertz. Or at most, 2.4. It's going to be clocked significantly lower than the 360 and PS3 CPUs. And that's because it has to be. All right, now back to Espresso being just a souped up uh, Broadway processor. That's not exactly true. What Espresso more than likely is is a modified version of the IBM PowerPC 476. Now, why the 476? The 476 just so happens, just so happens to be the direct descendant of the Broadway processor. Shares all the same characteristics of Broadway. But what's even more interesting is it shares a lot of the same characteristics as the Power 7. Now, when the Wii U was first announced at last year's E3, IBM said that it uses, it packs some of the same technology as a Power 7 or as Watson. Now, they never came out and said, hey, this is a Power 7. They said that it shares some of the same technology as a Power 7. And what technology does a Power 7 have that separates it from other CPUs on the market? There's uh, the silicone on insulator technology. There's it being um, 45 nanometers. And then there's also the embedded eDRAM. But what's crazy about that is that the 476 chip uses all of those. And what's even crazier about that, I did a little digging and I found the user manual for that chip. And the last time it was updated was the same exact day or the day before the um, first Project Cafe rumors hit the net. That's kind of crazy. Okay, well, here's where things really get interesting and pretty convincing. If you go back to the uh, speculation thread for the Wii U um, on Beyond 3D, you'll see that there's a poster there telling everyone a long time ago that the Wii U would essentially be 
uh, the CPU would essentially be three Broadway enhanced cores and that the clock speed would be closer to Wii's than the 360. Nobody, hardly anyone believed him. And what's crazy, his screen name was Expresso. And what's funny is I even post, I posted in that, in that thread. And as soon as he said that, I even posted the link. I said, wow, that kind of reminds me of another post that I read two years before that from some other guy that I thought was probably a nut. But it turns out this dude either knows what the heck he's talking about or this dude is an actual developer. And if you guys visit a lot of Nintendo sites and you, you visit, you do the comment sections on a lot of these Nintendo sites, you probably heard of this guy before. He's even posted on my blog a few comments. The dude's name is WeeBoy101. And this dude's into everything Nintendo. He might even be subscribed to me or one of you guys. This dude predicted that Nintendo would use this chip back in like 2009. Like he predicted it before the chip even came out. I'll see if I can find all these links uh, so you guys can check that out, but it's pretty crazy. It gets even more interesting. Now, apparently there's a version of this chip called, I believe, the China Chip 2200, something like that. And uh, this is a variation of this chip. And while I was uh, Googling it, <laughs> um, I saw some statements made about this chip about how it was to be used in a next generation console. And it said a next generation console la launching uh, quarter two of 2010, or I'm sorry, 2011. Now, if you guys remember correctly, when the Project Cafe rumors first started, there was a rumor that the Wii U would launch at the end of last year. So I don't know, guys. Kind of a little bit too much of a coincidence, don't you think? 